Hey, welcome back to another video. So I want to talk about something that's been popping up everywhere lately. This whole narrative that AI is making us dumb. There is this new research from MIT that's been making the rounds and the headlines are kind of a little bit wide. I was just reading an article and there they said like MIT proves chat GPT is rotting your brain. So I figured, okay, let's actually look at what the study says and more importantly, what it means for us. You know, the folks actually using these tools for building, coding and learning. <laughs> First, here's the setup. The researchers at MIT wanted to see what happens to our brains when we use AI tools like ChatGPT to write essays. They split people into three groups. Group one was only allowed to use ChatGPT, no Google, no website, just the AI. Group two, only allowed to use search engines, but no AI. And group three was allowed to use no AI, no search, just their brains, old school pen and paper. Now each group wrote a series of essays. So those were like SAT style topics over a few sessions. The researchers didn't just look at what people wrote. They also strapped some EEG headsets on folks to measure their brain activity. These are like headsets which uh, measure electromagnetic waves on your head when your brain is working. So here's what made the news. People using ChatGPT had way less brain activity, remembered less of what they wrote and felt less ownership over their work. Yeah, it's a little bit scary. But also, are we really surprised? If you just copy paste what the AI wrote, you are obviously not going to remember much. You didn't actually do the hard work. The brain only group, their brains were lit up, super active, able to quote from their own essays minutes later and they actually felt proud of what they made. Search engine folks were in the middle, more engaged than the AI group but not as much as the brain only folks. So yes, the study shows there is a real cognitive cost to using AI for these kind of creative tasks. You get the work done faster but your brain kind of chilling in the background. This honestly tracks with how I have felt using AI to write code. Like if I let cursor or chat GPT generate big chunks of code, I can get the feature shipped way faster. But when I have to debug or change something, it actually takes me longer to figure out what's going on. It's like basically reading a stranger's code. You're always second guessing and sometimes you spend more time understanding than you would have if you just wrote it yourself. I have fallen into this trap a lot. You start with small completion, tap, tap, tap. Then suddenly I'm asking the AI to generate a whole login flow. Feels productive at first until there's a bug and suddenly I'm thinking, damn, I wish I'd had written this part myself. So the main question is, is AI actually making us dumb? Here's the nuance. The MIT study shows if you use AI for everything, your brain is definitely less engaged. If you always take shortcuts, you don't build those deep neural pathways. You're not actually learning. The more you rely on AI, the less you remember and the less you own the work. But, and this is important, it's all about how you use the tool. AI can make you more productive, automate boring stuff and help you focus on the big picture. But if you are only relying on AI, yeah, you're probably not growing as much as you could be. So what do we do with this? Honestly, I think the answer is balance. Here's how I am approaching it lately and what the study sort of hints at as well. Use AI for a small step. Let it auto-complete the boiler review your work or help with like initial research. Do the core thinking yourself for bigger problems, complex features or creative writing. Try to wrestle with it yourself first. Use AI as a helper, not the driver. Treat it like a senior dev you can bounce ideas with, not someone to outsource your entire project to. I actually force myself to not use AI for certain things now just to keep my brain sharp. If I'm writing a key module or if there's a tricky bug, I try to dig in solo first, then use AI for suggestions or sanity checks. This has definitely slowed down a process and then there is a huge urge that why not just single shot it or just tell AI or Claude giving maximum context. But sometimes I feel it more rewarding when I figure out a bug by myself and then maybe ask AI to fix it in a way which I figured out. So I am not technically writing the code, it's doing AI is doing that, but I have understood what the bug was, where I found it and now I own that fix myself. So the big takeaway is AI isn't making us dumb by default. But if you use it for everything, yeah, your brain gets a little lazy. It's like using a calculator for one plus one. Great when you need speed, but terrible if you forget how to add. This MIT study is not a reason to panic, but it's a great reminder to use these tools intentionally. Be the pilot, not the passenger. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this. Are you worried? Have you felt your brain chilling more since you started using AI? Or is it making you more creative by freeing you up for better problems? Drop a comment below. Let's get a conversation going. And again, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. And remember, don't let AI do all the thinking for you. Bye-bye.